Welcome everybody, I'm Erika Ferrandi and I'm a research fellow at the Institute of Biomembranes, Bioenergetics and Molecular Biotechnologies of Bari in Italy, and I'm currently working at the Department of Biosciences of the University of Milan. The timely and rapid tracking of novel SARS-CoV-2 variants and mutations is a priority in the fight against the pandemic, especially as these uh, uh, mutations or variants may become a source of uh, concern for national and international health authorities. Here we present CORGAT and CORGAT Tracker, a complete set of tools for the uh, functional annotation of SARS-CoV-2 genomes and for tracking mutations and variants of concern in space and time. CORGAT, or the Coronavirus Genome Analysis Tool, uh, is a collection of per utilities and annotation files, which are used to perform the functional annotation of SARS-CoV-2 genetic variants. At the bottom of this slide, you can see a preview of the home page of the Galaxy version of the tool. Briefly, CORGAT allows to align the complete assemblies of SARS-CoV-2 genomes to the reference genomic sequence in order to obtain a list of polymorphic regions, which are uh, then used to uh, annotate uh, a genetic variant. The output of the tool consists of a simple table which contains the functional annotation of the genetic variants previously identified and also a series of additional information, all listed at the top of this slide. It is important to underline that um, uh, information highlighted in orange, both in the list and the, in the example uh, output picture, are um, all unique to uh, CORGAT derived functional annotations. CORGAT Tracker is a shiny based dashboard that allows the visualization of the prevalence of SARS CoV 2 lineages and mutations of concern as annotated by CORGAT. A Galaxy release of this tool is currently under development. In CORGAT Tracker, data are represented in an interactive way, and the user can personalize uh, several visualization parameters by the means of a set of widgets. All the parameters that can be uh, personalized are listed at the bottom of the slide. And here you have an overview of all the widgets available to personalize data visualization. Uh, CORGAT Tracker produces three different kinds of plots. More in detail, we have a set of bar plots that represent the number of occurrences of lineages and mutations on a weekly basis. Then we have a set of pie charts showing the cumulative prevalence of SARS-CoV-2 lineages and mutations. And last but not least, we have a set of scatter plots representing the number of weekly occurrences for a user-selected lineage or mutation. Furthermore, to enable a more efficient tracking of emerging lineages in CORGAT tracker, lineage annotations can be uh, kind of augmented by reporting the list of mutations of concern that are observed in a genome, but that are not specific to its assigned lineage. These augmented annotations are called lineages plus in app, and their prevalence in time is represented through a bar plot and a pie chart, as you can see in the pictures reported. Overall, we believe that CORGAT and CORGAT Tracker will provide a useful addition to the uh, currently available arsenal of bioinformatics methods and tools for the genomic surveillance of uh, SARS-CoV-2. CORGAT, in fact, has a sensitivity which is comparable to other tools with a, a similar function. However, it also provides an additional layer of uh, um, information. For example, thanks to the application of our set of tools, we were able to identify a collection of Italy-specific misclassified SARS-CoV-2 genomes. More in detail, these uh, genomes uh, were classified as B1 by classical SARS-CoV-2 annotation methods. However, our system highlighted how they presented additional mutations in the spike protein, uh, as you can see from the reported bar plot. Uh, more in depth, that analysis allowed us to observe that these genomes shared a consistent proportion of their mutations with P1 lineages, uh, but uh, they still uh, present a group specific mutation, more specifically the P681H mutation on the spike protein. It is possible at this point to speculate that these genomes represent a newly emerged lineage. However, further investigation are required to verify these hypotheses. 
Finally, it is a recent new that uh, P1 plus P681H lineages uh, were uh, recently added by the ACDC to the list of variants under monitoring. Regarding the availability of the tools, again, Corgat is already available to Galaxy, whereas a Galaxy release for Corgat Tracker is under development. Furthermore, additional information uh, about the single tools, their code, and their functioning in detail can be found in the corresponding GitHub repository. All the useful links for the availability of the tool here presented are reported in this slide. To conclude, I want to thank my supervisor, Dr. Matteo Chiara, all the co-authors and people working on this project, and all of you for listening. Thank you.